guys welcome back we today we are looking at zebras i went to the zoo and when i went to the zoo in entebbe here in uganda uganda wildlife center that's the name of the zoo and we are visiting zebras zebras we could not see them so clearly as you can see there is double barbed wire so it's really hard for you to see these animals here exactly the way I'm seeing them. But seeing them from afar, they just looked so elegant, beautiful. And the first look, I even thought they were just some molds, molds from wood that are just statues there, only to see they were moving. That's incredible. Here are some things you need to know about zebras. Zebras are equids members of the horse family they have excellent hearing and eyesight and can run at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour that is 56 kilometers per hour they also have a powerful kick that can cause serious injury to a predator like a hyena a lion or even an african wild dog zebras look soft and beautiful and meek but don't be fooled they know how to protect themselves. The lead male of the herd, called a stallion, sounds the alarm if danger is spotted and stays at the back of the group to defend against predators if necessary. While the mares, that's the female zebras, and the foals, that's the youngsters, run away to safety. That's how a zebra protects itself. But we'll look at more ways the zebras protect themselves. Let's have a look at the zebra strip. The zebra strip are not just beautiful, but they serve different purposes for the zebra. In case of danger, zebras are helped by their strips to confuse the predator. Says a lion or leopard may fail to single out just a single zebra when they are all running. You know when a lion spots their prey, they want to pursue their prey. But because the zebras are stripped, when a lion is pursuing a particular prey, Others will confuse the lion. The lion will not remember which particular prey the lion was, was chasing. Another thing that the zebra strips do, the combination of strip patterns among the harem creates a blending effect that makes hiding easy in the wild. Most predators are colorblind. Actually, I had to look up a few predators which are colorblind and a lion is one of those. So because most predators are colorblind, this works well in favor of the zebra using their pattern's disruptive coloration effect. This effect also confuses the houseflies from landing on zebras. Yes, you can say they, they work as insect repellents. Zebras don't have to worry about insects as the black and white patterns of stripes is enough to act as the insect repellent. The black strips on zebras act as a natural protection against sun rays. They contain a pigment called melanin, which absorbs harmful UV rays and protects the skin from skin cancer and sunburns. You know that uh, the primary purpose of zebras having stripes is to regulate their body temperature since the heat in Africa is blazing. You know, I'm, 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 we're here in Uganda and we can have hot and warm weather year after year that's literally it and a few rains but mostly that so it's quite warm and hot a lot of times the black stripes absorbs the light from the sun in contrast the white stripes reflect the light and cool down the body temperature so you see how these stripes help the zebra to manage the weather in African countries. So those above are five ways zebra strips help a zebra protect itself. Zebras often, when moving to new pastures, which is a fairly fast but easy gait for them to use over the long distance they may have to travel, their hard hooves are designed to withstand the impact of their body weight and to run easily over rocky ground. Zebras often trot and move to new pastures, which is fairly fast but easy gait for them to use over the long distance they may have to travel. Their hard hooves are, des are designed to withstand the impact of their body weight and to run easily over rocky ground. When resting at night, zebras lie down while one stands watch to prevent an ambush. 
zebras may all look the same but there are three different species of zebras that exist and we are going to be looking at them different zebra species have different types of stripes from narrow to wide in fact the farther south on the african plains you travel the farther apart the stripes on the zebras get the basic form of zebras a large head sturdy neck long legs a dorsal stripe along the spine and down a tasseled tail and bristled mane is universal no zebra or other wild equid has a forelock let's look at the different species of zebras starting with plain zebra which is classified as a cusquaga the plains zebra is the most abundant and the smallest of the three zebra species they weigh around 800 pounds some subspecies have a stripe pattern different from all others brownish shadow stripes between the black stripes on their coat the second species include gravy zebras, classified as Acus gravy. They are the largest weighing zebras, weighing up to 1,000 pounds. In addition, they highly resemble donkeys with their distinct stripe pattern. Its thick neck and large round ears give the gravy zebra the most mule-like physique. The gravy zebra also has the thinnest stripes extending all the way down to their white belly. On the hind quarters, the stripes are vertical until above the hind legs. And the third species is mountain zebra, which are classified as Akus zebra. They possess special abilities to adapt to high altitude regions. A mountain zebra has vertical stripes on the neck and torso, which graduate to wider and fewer horizontal bars on the haunches. It has a great iron pattern on the ramp, and its white underside has a dark stripe that runs the length of the belly. A mountain zebra also has a distinctive doe lap on the throat that looks a little bit like Adam's apple. While other zebra species are also great at climbing, mountain zebras are excellent climbers given their mountaineers habitat. Apart from the obvious motivation to reach their homes in the mountains, these zebras have been blessed with strong muscular legs that help them travel rough and steepy surfaces smoothly. Mountain zebras also have flexible hooves that allow them to spread their weight over large areas other than that, they also possess the ability to thrive at high altitudes of mountains and with their exceptional balance, they can easily navigate steep slopes with ease. All the three species of zebra possess unique characteristics but have some similarities between them. How do zebras live? You may ask. Different zebras have different habitants. Gravy zebras live in semi-arid grassland habitat in Kenya, Ethiopia, and Somalia. Mountain zebras, as their name implies, inhabit rocky, arid slopes in Namibia and Angola. Plains zebras, which are the most abundant of the three zebra species, are found from the grasslands of East Africa to the scrubby woodlands of South Africa. They are one of Africa's most successful and adaptable large herbivores. A subspecies of the plains zebra, the Grant's zebra, is famous for its spectacular migrations during the rainy season in the Serengeti, when as many as 10,000 of these animals can be seen joining together in congregated herds. What do zebras eat? You may ask. Zebras are herbivores and feed mostly by grazing on grasses, although they also mate, browse a bit on the leaves and stems of branches, they graze for many hours each day using their strong front teeth to clip off the tips of the grass. Their back teeth then crush and grind the food, spending so much time chewing wears the teeth down, so those teeth keep growing all their lives. In addition, their teeth are called hypsodonts. 
which are a series of long crowns and short roots. This arrangement is essential for the growth of new teeth once the previous ones get worn down. Since they constantly feed on various types of grasses with different textures, the hypsodont teeth fit well with their diet. Functional teeth are essential to obtain maximum nutrition to maintain their energy levels and for a healthy reproductive system. As the dry season arrives and the grasses die back, zebra herds travel to find more food and water holes for drinking. Most zebras are considered nomadics without specific territories. The exception is the gravy zebra. Stallions of this species mark out territories with urine and dung. The mares, their foals, and immature males wander through as they wish. If food becomes scarce, though the stallions leave their territories for a while and travel with the large herds. Let's look at some more things that you may need to know about zebras apart from what we've already mentioned above. 1. Zebras are endangered species. Among other zebra species, gravy zebra have been eliminated the most. Since the 1970s, numbers have steadily declined, leaving only 2,000 gravy zebras from a significant original total of 15,000. That is just not incredible. Other factors that lead to the decline in the zebra population include the loss of habitat, increased hunting competition with livestock, and also poaching. Second, zebras are known for their social behavior and strong dynamics. They move in large groups called harem. The leader of the harem is one dominant stallion, followed by closely related females and foals. One concept behind moving in harems is that unity is power, and there is protection in numbers. By moving in large groups, large predators like lions can easily get intimidated and lose interest. Another benefit of moving in groups is the shared responsibility of security. While some zebras are busy grazing or resting, others take on the role and look out for possible threats. 3. Zebras are versatile grazers and have a flexible diet. Zebras usually feed on leaves, grasses, herbs and shrubs. Their flexible nature has adapted them to graze on different varieties of greenery, from rough to fibrous grasses. The herbivorous behavior of zebras is linked with their ability to digest cellulose. Their unique digestive system induces fermentation to break down tough cellulose found in plants. And four, All zebra species are exclusive to Africa. The distribution of these species highly depends on the region's ecosystem and landscapes. The plain zebras are widespread in many eastern, western and southern African countries. These species prefer woodlands, savannas, grasslands and nearby mountainous areas. Whereas the gravy zebras prefer the arid regions of Kenya and Ethiopia. They are limited and enjoy the grasslands and savannas of these areas. Mountain zebras are found in southern African regions like Namibia and Angola. They are fond of dry, stony and ruggedy mountainous habitats. In Uganda, Kidepo Valley National Park and Lake Mburo National Park are the parks with the best zebra viewing opportunities. Although very remote, Kidepo Valley National Park offers perhaps the best zebra views in Uganda with numerous zebra grazing out in savannah. Number 5. 
Zebras can sleep while standing. Yes, you've had it right. This is a defensive mechanism that most zebras apply during the day. In the daytime, zebras lock their joints and knees in a way that their body remains upright to avoid falling down. This is a clever way to get a quick nap while staying alert to the nearby predators. However, when they need to recharge, they take a deep sleep by lying down and that too is when they are in a herd. Number 6. Zebras are fast runners. Zebras can go from standing still to running at full speed in just a few strides. They have the ability to run at a remarkable speed of 40 miles per hour. Under attack, zebras use different escaping tactics to confuse the predator. These tactics include running in zigzag, suddenly changing directions and spreading in different directions. Baby fowls can run after 40 minutes. Zebras were born with advanced development. Baby fowls can turn their heads up just a few minutes after their bath. They even make attempts to stand up, which are shaky at first rapidly improving as they get their balance. The muscles of foals are in consistent development which allows them to grow strong and keep up with the herd. And on number 7, in order to survive the wild African savannas, zebras have been gifted with a super ability to rotate their ears at 180 degrees. To be able to function with this feature, zebras' ears are connected to their heads with muscles and cartilage which provides them flexibility. Zebras can move their ears independently of each other. With this amazing feature, zebras can pinpoint the exact direction of warning signals of predators. Number 8. Zebras have powerful kicks. Yes, don't joke with a zebra. With their well-developed leg muscles, they throw a mean kick along with their powerful lower body. They have amazing flexes that catch their predators unexpectedly. Female zebras are also exceptional at kicking when it comes to protecting their offspring. Sometimes, kicking is enough for zebras to end their confrontation against predators. This not only saves their energy, but prevents life-threatening damage. At 9. Zebras have mutual grooming rituals to remove dirt germs to also strengthen group bonding, building trust and cooperation. Zebras often get dust, dirt and even parasites under their coats as they roam around grasslands and savannas. So grooming improves their skin condition and helps shed off parasites. And next, zebras have eyes placed on the side of their heads which give them broader and almost 360 degree view of the field. The wide field vision allows them to have an excellent view of the nearby predators. In addition, they can rapidly detect movement and prepare as an action plan. Zebras take dust bath to remove dead skin. Zebras take a dust bath by laying down on loose, fine sand or soil and rolling in it. Taking a cloud of dust has many benefits. Not only does it remove dead skin, excess oils and ticks that are stuck under the coats. As zebras roll on the dust, their particles act as exfoliators and lose the skin. The dust particles are also useful for absorbing oil rime on the skin. There you have it. A lot of things that you didn't know or already knew about zebras. <laughs>